When it comes to the writing questions on the Duolingo English test, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. Well, don't worry, because in today's video, we're going to learn how to change your answers from okay to yay. And I'm gonna share with you my three top tips to improve your DET writing production score. I'm Francis from Last Minute English, and our three tips today are gonna to be focused on the interactive writing questions in the DET. But you can also take these tips and use them in other questions and in your English writing in general. So before we start with the tips, let's quickly review the interactive writing questions. What do you have to do? So in the interactive writing, you'll see a prompt, a question, and you have to write about it for five minutes. Then after your five minutes is done, you'll see another question generated by AI, and that's a follow-up question, and you have to write to answer that one for another three minutes. And while you're writing the answer to the follow-up question, you'll be able to see your original answer to the first question. So my first tip when we're answering these questions is to remember your structure. Structure is the organization, what comes first, what comes second, and so on. That's super important for getting a high score. It doesn't matter if you've got fantastic vocabulary, amazing grammar, if your organization is not good, if you have no structure, you're gonna get a low score. It's just like, imagine you were trying to cook a curry and you've got the recipe, but it's all disorganized. The different parts of the recipe are in the wrong order. The whole thing would be a disaster. And the same is true of your writing answer. So let's look at a simple three-step structure that we can follow for any of those interactive writing questions that means that you'll be writing a really organized answer. We're gonna start with a short introduction and in that you're going to very clearly say what your opinion or your position is. For example, if the question's asking you if you agree or disagree with something, you can start by saying, I strongly agree with the idea that, and then the idea, or I strongly disagree with the idea that, and then the details of the idea. And that's a really good way to start so that your answer is easy to understand. Then the second part is the body, and we're going to write body paragraphs. And now each paragraph should be focused on one clear idea. It's not a great thing if you have 10 ideas and you try to get them all down. It, the essay turns into a mess, okay? And that's true for the DET, it's true for university essays, it's true in any kind of writing. So instead of putting all of your ideas, choose your best, maybe two or three ideas, and have one paragraph for each of those ideas. One idea, one paragraph. And for each of those paragraphs, you're going to develop your point, talk about it deeply, and you can support it by using uh, evidence or using examples or even personal experience. So you could say, I believe this because, or a good example of this is, and then you talk about it. And at the end, we're going to give a conclusion. So this would be one or two sentences, pretty short, and you're saying your main idea again. Basically, you're writing the introduction again, but in different words so that we're not repeating ourselves and we're showing our good vocabulary and good grammar. So it's the same idea, but different words. And we can start by saying, in conclusion, and then, we say what we want to say. So that's your structure. We can follow those three steps. But what about your vocabulary? We have to make sure in our interactive writing questions that we're using academic vocabulary, not just everyday kind of vocabulary. Because if we're using everyday vocabulary, it's like cooking a curry without any of the spices. We want to add some flavor to our answer. So let's see how we can do that. So if your exam is coming quite soon, the quickest way to improve your vocabulary is to replace normal words with high-level words that have the same meaning. For example, the word good we could replace with beneficial, favorable, or advantageous. Instead of bad, we would say negative, detrimental, 
or harmful. Instead of I think, we could say, upon reflection, I'd suggest that, or it could be argued that. We also have to keep our tone quite formal. So when you're writing, there are certain rules that you have to follow. For example, instead of saying won't or can't, we have to say the full words, will not, cannot. We can't have those contractions. And we also can't put too much emotion into our writing. For example, if you use the word obviously, that feels quite emotional. So instead we could say, it is clear that. And the word unbelievably, we could say, in a surprising turn of events or contrary to popular opinion. And we can also upgrade our sentences to make them uh, more complex. We don't want lots of simple sentences that are very short. So we can use words like uh, although, while, uh, since. And if you want to take your writing to the next level, we have a video all about the 10 best short phrases that you can learn to connect your answer together and improve your vocabulary score as well. And the link to that is just down here. So we've looked at the structure, we've looked at the vocabulary, but there's one more thing we have to think about, and that is the time. Remember that the DET is a timed exam. Each set of questions is gonna have its own time limit. And it's very easy to get caught up trying to make your sentences all perfect and then run out of time, which is like trying to cook the perfect curry, but then you run out of time and your partner says, oh, should we just have pizza instead? So let's see how you can stay on track in the interactive writing question. First of all is preparation. So we have one minute before the timer starts to read the question and think about it. And you have to use that time very carefully. You have to think quickly and make a plan in your head of what are the different ideas I'm gonna say, what is my opinion, which thing will come first, which will come second, what will be at the end. So get your plan clear in your head before the five minutes of writing starts. Then when the five minutes of writing starts, there's a big mistake that people make, and that is writing for five minutes, okay? You shouldn't write for the full five minutes. If you do, you don't have time to go back and check your answer. And checking your answer, proofreading, is the quickest way to improve your writing score because you can find those little mistakes and correct them, and then, you're gonna improve your grammar score, you're going to avoid losing marks because of those little mistakes, okay? So I suggest write for about four minutes and then make sure you double check everything. And then when you get your follow-up question, do the same again. So try to write for maybe two, two and a half minutes, not the full three minutes. Try to put a little time aside at the end to check your answer. So there we go, that is how you can score 140 or higher on the Duolingo English Test interactive writing questions. Remember, we're looking at your structure, your vocabulary, and your time management. If you found this video useful, make sure to like and subscribe because we have loads more videos coming out all about the DET. And if you are preparing for the DET, we have a free guide on our website that has everything that you need to know, all of the different question types, all of the universities that accept the DET, what score they need, and that link is just down here under the video, so make sure you check that out. I'm Francis from Last Minute English. Thank you for watching. Good luck in your DET. I'll see you next time.